HIV is a serious infection caused by the human immunodeficiency virus that mainly targets the immune system. Immune system is the army of our body, which provides defense against many infections and certain types of cancers. The virus mainly targets CD4 plus cells of the immune system. These include macrophages, monocytes, dendritic cells, and T helper cells. Infection leads to death of these cells and progressively weakens the person's immune system, making the person susceptible to any type of infection. HIV infection is commonly transmitted by sexual intercourse. Both vaginal and anal intercourse can transmit the disease. It can also be transmitted from mother to child during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Additional modes of transmission include contaminated blood, blood products, and organ donations and contaminated needles, especially in intravenous drug abuse, injections, and needle stick injuries. It is important to know that individuals cannot become infected through ordinary day-to-day -day contact, such as kissing, hugging, shaking hands, or sharing personal objects, food, or water. Risk factors for HIV infection include unprotected anal or vaginal sexual intercourse, such as not using condoms, Ongoing other sexually transmitted infections such as syphilis, herpes, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and bacterial vaginosis. Sharing contaminated needles, syringes, and other injecting equipment and drug solutions during drug misuse. Receiving unsafe injections, blood transfusions, tissue transplantation, and medical procedures that involve unsterile cutting or piercing. And accidental needle stick injuries, especially in health workers. HIV infection is a progressive disease that can be categorized into three stages. During the first stage, the acute HIV infection, person has nonspecific symptoms, including fever and chills, rash, night sweats, body aches, sore throat, fatigue, lymphadenopathy, and mouth ulcers. However, it is important to know that a person can be completely asymptomatic during the acute phase. And having these symptoms does not indicate that a person has become infected with HIV since even a mild flu can give rise to these symptoms. Stage 2 is the chronic HIV infection. This stage is also called asymptomatic HIV infection or clinical latency. The virus is still active in this phase but reproduces at very low levels and individuals may not have any symptoms during this phase. Without taking HIV medicine, this period may last a decade or longer, but some may progress faster into the next stage. Despite being asymptomatic, people still can transmit HIV to other people during this phase. At the end of this phase, the viral load goes up and the CD4 cell count goes down. The person may have symptoms as the virus levels increase in the body, and the person moves into stage 3. However, People who take HIV medicine as prescribed may never progress into stage 3. Stage 3 is called the Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, or AIDS phase, and it is the most severe phase of HIV infection. People with AIDS have severely damaged immune systems that they get can get increasing number of severe illnesses called opportunistic infections. Some of these conditions include the following. Recurrent pneumonias, especially with a typical bacterial species. Candidiasis of bronchi, trachea, or lungs. Esophageal candidiasis. Cervical carcinoma. Coccidioidomycosis. Cryptococcosis. Tuberculosis. HIV-related encephalopathy. Herpes simplex infection. Lymphoma. Wasting syndrome. And Kaposi sarcoma.